I think it was 1994 or 95 when I was traveling South India. And um, I went and met some Mr. Ray Meeker from Pondicherry to do a pottery course. There is a waiting period for about three years to get admission into Golden Bridge Pottery if you want to learn serious pottery for one year. Adil, Adil came to Pondicherry in, I think, 1998. Normally the students are, you know, eight between 18 and 24. Adil was probably closer to 30, maybe older. And he had had a career quite a successful career as an architect and interior designer. He was so all over the map of, as a student, I couldn't imagine that he was going to, you know, hang in there with ceramics. But he has done. So it worked out, so I stayed back for a second year. Okay, so when you actually are at Golden Bridge Pottery, for example, for two years, you know, it's not just a place where you come, you learn your thing and you go away. You're in a completely different environment. You're full time working with your clay and there's really no time to do anything else. Ray and Deborah almost become family. And of course, it changes your life. Then, uh, of course, Ray has this whole thing about uh, he's known all over also for his fired houses. So these fired houses are uh, homes that are made with mud bricks and fired. It's called fire stabilized houses. So that's the connection between architecture and pottery also, because the whole house is actually a kiln that you fire. And then after two years, when I went back to Bombay, it didn't feel that I wanted to get back into this very good job that I had, and I moved to Oroville. We are in this community called Dana, which is in Oroville. We have three potteries, Mandala Pottery, then there's Kratu, and there's Michelle who's doing flame pottery. So this is Mandala Pottery, and um, we are four potters working here. There is Chinmay. Uh, this is Chinmay with her big smoke-fired pot that she's just doing. And there's Krishnamurti. He's working on the wheel. and. Uh, these are some of his pieces. Then there is uh, Anamika. Anamika is not in town, but these are her smoke-fired pots. Now, between these three studios, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, six potters working together. And it's really nice, it's healthy. It's like a little uh, community within a community. Um, we have a like cooperative, you know, we buy the material in bulk and we share it. Uh, I run out of nickel oxide, I run across somewhere and get it. Somebody wants some clay, they come and take it from me. It's, it's healthy, the interaction. You're not a single potter in a little faraway town working on your own and having to have everything with you. We are blessed to be in Oroville where we do what we want to do. We are small and we, we like to stay that size. Instead of hiring four or five workers, we prefer to go with our model to the potters who are around Oroville, village potters, and they make things for us with our models. So the whole product actually is our product. It's made somewhere else, very close by, and that's what we call outsourcing. It, it works out fine. And that way we have a good balance between production work and studio pottery.